conversation here, please. Um, young people who join 4-H, it's not only animals, it's really any project or interest the young people would like to be engaged in. It could be rocketry, it could be computers, it could be uh, crafts, it could be clothing, and it could be outdoor education, which is one of the clubs we're gonna highlight this morning here in the exhibit hall. And Marie <laughs> is the 4-H leader with this particular group. So she'll talk a little bit, and then we've got some 4-Hers here with their exhibit they have. And every before I turn it over, we'll have a little bit of time for you to float through here, uh, just to take a look at the many things that our general interest young people have done this year. Go ahead. Good morning, hi. Um, so my name is Marie Elliott, and I am the leader for the Outdoor Education Club. We have I've been involved with the club for, I believe, seven years now, and this is my third year, finishing my third year as the leader of the club, I believe. Um, might be two, it's hard to remember. Um, <laughs> but at any rate, um, our kids, um, members in the club, range in age from kindergarten um, all the way up through right now. Um, the oldest one is going into ninth grade, so it's quite an age span, which makes, um, targeting the activities a bit of a challenge because as you can imagine, for outdoor type activities, there's quite a range of abilities and limitations between the ages of five and, and 14. Um, but I think they have a pretty good time. And so we have, um, one thing that we I really like to focus on um, with everything that we do outside and that's making the kids aware of their environment and their importance in maintaining that environment. So every time we're out and around outside, we talk about the leave no trace, um, leaving the environment the way you found it, making it better if it wasn't as good as it should be. And so with that emphasis, one of the things that we did this year was a trail cleanup. We went to Time War Park and we hiked the entire West Bank Trail and picked up garbage all along the way. And we were happy to say that we didn't find very much garbage along the way, which was a nice thing. Um, but we did find some and, and so we did feel that it was a successful community service event to do that. Um, the board that the kids have put together um, illustrates what we did this year in Dutchess County in terms of places that we visited. We did everything from a tour at Crown Maple over in Dover Plains, hiking the Stone Church in Dover Plains, um, and uh, ice skating at the McCann Ice Arena when the weather didn't provide us with an outdoor access to ice, we went indoors, so we could still do that, that sort of um, wintertime activity. And um, in trying to keep them focused on what they see around us, and it's not just let's go take a hike, but let's learn what's out there. We put together a board, and this is our action booth for this fair, um, and we also did it at Timor Park's Community Day in June, um, to see how many plants and or animals people could identify. And these are just common things that are out and around, but some of them are small, and if you're not looking, you're not gonna see them. And I think the best example that I can give of that is we hiked, last year we hiked the Roosevelt Farm uh, Trail, and on the way over, the kids were just going and going and going, and not really paying attention too much to what was around them, and all of a sudden, this little orange salamander crawled across the, the trail in front of them, and somebody said, oh, what's that? And I said, oh, that? That's a red F. Well, from then on, the rest of the way to Route 9, and then all the way back to Route 9G, we counted 32 red Fs. And that became the focus of, you know, what can we find, what can we see, and what else do we see? And they found a lot of things after that little red F kind of crossed the trail in front of them. So um, I thought that was really good. And, I, and as I said, I just tried to instill upon them um, and within them that it's important that they're aware of what's around them. And um, I think it's a, a good club. Not only do they get that, but they get all the other good things that 4-H has to offer with the public speaking skills and and uh, through public presentations and all of those sorts of things. And so with that, yeah, this is Elena. She's one of our older 4-H members. And then, um, and she can talk to you a little bit about the Outdoor Ed Club. And then um, I brought my daughter, Brooke, this morning. And although Brooke is no longer a 4-H, currently a 4-H member, she had an amazing experience because of 4-H. And all I'm gonna say is that um, I would love to see the program brought back Brooke went to Japan for four weeks with a 4-H exchange program, and it was 
an amazing experience, and I'm not going to say anything more about that. If you have questions, they're for her. <laughs> so um, if there are no questions for me, I'm going to let you go to 